Hey guys, Stark TV here. I got some, uh, explaining. So, I had a doctor's appointment today. <clears throat> and I haven't been taking my diabetes seriously. I should have taken it seriously, but I didn't. And that's why I was stupid. For the result and consequences, I got put on insulin. Now, if you have diabetes or any other kind of diseases like, um, like what I have diabetes or or even like heart problems or something like that, something serious, take it very seriously. I did not take mine very seriously. And now I regret it because how I am put on insulin now. And so, probably won't be on that for a very long time. And so, yeah. Sorry for a short vlog, but it was just, whew, I feel like I can talk to you guys, I feel like you guys connect with me on a level that no one else does. Yes, I may have 35 subscribers, and I really appreciate that, you guys, you guys are awesome. But, it doesn't really bother me because whether I'm famous or whether I'm like how I am right now, financially not stable, you know what? As long as I have you guys and my family, it's all I really need, you know? Yes, granted, I did some good deeds, I did some bad deeds. But, overall, my family's there no matter what, and I'm always there for them no matter what, and with that said, um, I'm still going to be doing YouTube, that's one of my favorite hobbies ever, but I'm going to try to be doing more and more, you know, yes, I have over a hundred videos, but you know what, that don't matter to me, may have less views, but I don't care, I know and I believe one day I'll be able to give back to my community and my family as I did to me. Like, if I, whenever I become YouTube famous, first thing I'm going to do, buy a giant ass mansion, put a whole family in it, and then divide it up in sections. Like, we'll have at least a hundred acres. And that will be awesome. Yes, I also have a military watch that a friend of mine gave me. Right now it is 1900 for those who don't know what that is. That is 7 o'clock in civilian time. But anywho, you know, <clears throat> yeah, but if, not if, but when I do, I do believe this. Second thing I'm going to do for my community, I'm going to put a swimming pool and a gym where everyone can go, don't have to have no membership or nothing, just cost like a dollar for both, it just stands for one. I'm going to be 
try to make it cheap enough to where even when uh, homeless people, I'm going to build a shelter. And for homeless people, you know, help them get back on track, you know, and I have all these things I'm going to do for my community. I'm going to name the homeless shelter Open Hands because that's what God does to us. He opened his arms. He loves us. And never forget this, but my favorite Bible verse is God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son to die for his sins. And whoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. And I remember whenever I had a mental breakdown when I was admitted into a hospital. First thing I thought was God has a plan for me. And he will always have a plan for all of us. It doesn't matter whether you're rich, poor, young, old, pretty, cute, hot, sexy, or even, you know, not those types. He still has a plan for you. Yes. <clears throat> I did put a post on Facebook saying I'm desperate for a girlfriend, but you know what? Take that down because now I realize whether I try to speed it up or try to uh, get back in there, the right one ain't going to come until God wants it to come. And that I actually like because, I mean, who else do we turn to? When we're all are going to perish. Only those who actually believe in the word of God. Will have everlasting life. And. I believe one day. When. It's my time to go. That I will. See my family up there in heaven. A lot of people. Like. Atheists say there's no God. That's their opinion, you know. They don't believe in that, and that's okay. Like, being gay, bisexual, straight, lesbian, or transgender, that's okay. God said, come as you are. Love yourself, and he will love you. And I'm going to be honest, put out there. I am bisexual. And you know what? God loves me just how I am. And he loves you guys how you guys are. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter whether you think you don't deserve God's love when you do. Because when, there are, when there's no else to turn where you turn, you turn to God. Once you hit rock bottom, trust me, you will need God. Like, I need God in my life. And I just realized that's all I really need is to put God first and read the Bible, go to church, you know. And so, I'm going to try to spread the word of God. That's all. He asks us to do is spread his word. And with that, I am going to do. You know, whether you believe in God or you don't, my opinion is there is a God. And he is a miracle worker. Let me put it this way. One, well, my great grandmother, well, my late great grandmother, whatever your grandma does. She had breast cancer, and my grandfather, Ralph Flanders, prayed for her. Next, whenever she went back to the doctors, there was no cancer at all. Doctors can't explain it. That's a miracle, and miracles do happen. 
it doesn't happen by luck, or it doesn't happen when you're in the right place at the right time. God puts you there for a reason. Like, He puts me here with my family for a reason. And that reason is my mental disabilities. Yes, I do have mental disabilities, but you know what? That's okay. I read a post on uh, Instagram that said, don't ever give up on a person who has a mental illness because they will need you more than what you need them. And so, I'm fixing to get out of here, but you know what, guys? Go with God. God's always the answer, no matter what. It doesn't matter whether, like I said, whether you're gay, bisexual, straight, transgender, lesbian, or, or whatever you want to be, you know? It doesn't matter. Another thing that does matter is education. I graduated high school, but I am a uh, college dropout because I wasn't ready for college. But I think I'm getting back into a lot where I need to go back to college to get an education. And one thing is for sure, I ain't gonna be in the medical field. That's gonna be into the mechanical vehicle field. And that I will do, you know, get certified, get trained, and that sort of way. My very first plan ever for life was to join the military. But I got diabetes, and that's okay. It's not the end of the world. My recruiter told me, even though you don't get into the military, it's not the end of the world. And she's right. I tried to go in all five branches. Army, Marines, Air Force, Navy, Coast Guard. Even the National Guard. And because of my diabetes, you know, I the best one. But that's okay. God has other plans for me. And he has plans for you guys. So go with God. God bless you. And I'll pray for all of you. Thank you guys so much for the 35 subscribers. Comment down below and tell me what you want me to do for the 35 subscribers. Like if you want me to do a challenge. Like a uh, no custom 24 hour challenge. <clears throat> that might be fun. But, uh, who knows? I mean, I don't know. But if you guys want that, comment and like. It doesn't matter, okay? You guys be good. Be safe. Always love you guys. Be with God. God bless. Peace. Oh, one more thing. Um, when I was on vacation, um, we seen this lady. Looks like she needed like mental help. She was holding up her phone like this while she was talking to someone. I don't know if she was or not. I recorded it. You guys let me know. Yes, he does! <laughs>